one of the key questions when we're trying to figure out how to irrigate our landscape is how often should we apply the water. The key term that we use when we're applying to turf, trees, or flowers, or vegetables is always going to be to irrigate deeply and infrequently. And that means to water a whole lot of water today and wait as many days as possible before we irrigate again. A lot of people when they think about plants, they think about plant roots, they think the function of the plant roots is solely to absorb moisture out of the soil to provide uh, water for plant growth. The problem is, is that plant roots need air to breathe. So if we're irrigating every day, or if it's raining every day, the soil is going to be saturated and there's not going to be any air in there for the plant roots to grow and be healthy. So we want to irrigate deeply, get the water deep into the soil, and then we want to wait as many days as possible so the soil can dry out and new fresh air can move deeper into the soil so that the roots can have good oxygen to breathe under the ground. The term is deeply and infrequently, but the question is, is how deeply and how infrequently? So if we're looking at frequency, we want to use weather data. The term we want to use is called evapotranspiration, or ET. And we can go to the K-State Weather Data Library or other weather data sources and look at the evapotranspiration for turf grass. And it'll give us an indication of how often to water the lawn. Normally when we're saying a, a general rule of irrigating the lawn, we'll say we need to use an inch of water per week. So we can look at this evapotranspiration table and once we've lost about an inch of water, then it's time to irrigate. If we look at this weather data here, we can see, for example, on the 1st of June, we lost about a quarter of an inch. On the 2nd of June, we lost uh, roughly another quarter of an inch. And on the 3rd of June, we lost another quarter of an inch. So that's about three quarters of an inch. We might want to think about irrigating our lawn on the evening of the 3rd. Or we could hold it out to the 4th. And after the 4th, we've definitely lost a full inch of water and we should irrigate our, our lawn. The other important thing we need to look at on this weather data is that on the 8th of June, we've got 8 tenths of an inch of rain that was applied. So when we add up our ET and we minus the amount that was, came from rainfall, we may not need to irrigate at that time. So we need to look at the ET and we need to look at the precipitation that fell and use those two numbers in conjunction to figure out whether or not we need to irrigate. The term for turf and landscape irrigation is deeply and infrequently, and we can figure out that frequency by using weather data and evapotranspiration data to figure out how frequently we should irrigate our lawn. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.